my name is Craig Singer. I am the director of Massify and After Dark's Perkins 14. After Dark Studios is one of the most innovative production companies in Hollywood that not only takes chances and risks, but has the, the vision and the ability to realize and execute upon that vision. Massify and After Dark have teamed up to create what will be the world's first crowdsourced feature film in the history of cinema. Basically what that means is a young man named Jeremy pitched an idea for a film called Perkins 14, which ended up being the winner, which I'm very, very happy about. This is an opportunity for someone who is not Writers Guild, who has never written the script, who is not in the Hollywood system, to be able to come up with a story and actually have that be made into a movie. To realize that, wow, you know, everybody's here because of this idea I've created is pretty unreal. Who's your favorite character in the drafts that you've written so far? There's this one scene where there's like this cleaning lady, she's only in it for about three seconds and she just like, <laughs> my favorite character. Movie. I mean, Craig seems like a real cool guy. You know, very energetic, charismatic, really knows what he's doing. I always go with my gut with casting. If I like somebody and you lose the contest, you still might be in Romania with a shooting. My first feature film was a film called Anna Maroom. Amanda Peet, my casting director, said she'll never amount to anything. Don't cast her. He said people were telling me not to cast Amanda Peet. And I was like, God, I love Amanda Peet. I cast Amanda Peet. It was her first film. It was my first film. I'm really glad I made that decision. So any of you guys knock my socks off, you know, you're going to get on a plane. There's a really good vibe with him. And I think if I do get to go to Romania, we're going to get along really well. <laughs> I'm Bo Janot, I'm the Vice President of Production and Post-Production for After Dark Films. Bo definitely knows what we're here to do, and there's no varying away from that. The band will be leaving at 7 o'clock. Well, you know, tomorrow, 7 o'clock sharp. There's only one excuse to miss your call time, and when you get there, you better have that death certificate with you. You better bring a death certificate with you. If you want to go out and drink and party all night long, you're free to do that, but at 7 o'clock, those vans are leaving. The picking of the partners was an interesting thing because, I mean, everyone is here for a reason. So you'll be picking out a hat for this scene two. This will be your two. partner. Scene two is the jail scene. Jason Farley. Oh. <laughs> Stephanie Joyce. There were a few people that I was unsure about when I was waiting to choose someone. Heather. <laughs> Jessica. Catherine. All right, cool. Mario. Jason Crow. Jim Hassini. Oh, I can't work with her. She's an absolute bitch. When I'm watching this screen test, do I truly believe that this person who's in this room and huffing and puffing just truly ran five blocks to get away from zombies? Door, door. Can we get through? It's reinforced. Are you sure? Okay, freeze. I didn't get any sense of urgency from you guys. Let's just say you're being chased. You've just run two and a half blocks. What is my conflict? What is my intention? Where do I want to get to by the end of the scene? Okay? Good. Let's try it one more time, guys. Okay. The door. They believe in themselves enough to put themselves out there. You know, a lot of actors would just sit back and say, oh, well, I could have done that. I could have done that. Well, then get off your ass and do it. We've got a pretty interesting horse race on our hands. And I think that we were very lucky to find the talent that we did. And I think the proof is in the pudding. And, uh, you know, may the best uh, man and or woman win.